good afternoon or good evening, whatever the case is for you. Check this spot out down here on this little gold bearing creek right here in West By God, Virginia. Ain't it beautiful? Anyhow, we're on this big old gravel bar right here. And fortunately, but unfortunately, I have found where somebody has discarded some household carpet. So I chucked it in this bucket. There's a lot of quartz material in there. And what we're going to do today, we're going to see if there's gold in this here dirty old magic carpet. And we're going to look for some fossils and see what else we can find down here too. Anyhow, we'll clean this up real good and we'll see what we got in it, okay? So let's get some water in here and get to going. Now what this old carpet does, I mean, it's terrible people throw stuff out in the streams and let it get in the creeks. And this is going to be getting carried out of here, by the way. The carpet's going to get properly disposed of in the waste, not in the, not in our daggone creeks here, guys. It's unacceptable. But what we're going to do, we're going to wash all the material we can out of this. There's a lot of heavies in here, a lot of quartz. As you can see, a lot of muck, a lot of gut, a lot of ducks. But anyhow, we're going to clean this here chunk of carpet out. And we're going to quickly run it through my little sluice. And then we're going to take it back to the house and see what we got in it. Magic carpet gold, West Virginia style. Magic carpet gold, it's been a while. Magic carpet gold, I'm getting old. Magic carpet gold. This thing smells like mold. Magic carpet gold, magic carpet gold. Alright guys, I'll quit singing and I'll finish rinsing this up. And I'll show y'all what we got left. Adventure time prospecting you out. Okay, guys, it's starting to rain out here, unfortunately, but took all that material out of that carpet. A few bigger stuff in there. Yeah, got it in the classifier. And pass it down to a minus one eighth inch. And here's our tailings. See, there's quartz in there. Looks like a little bitty wood fossil. Quartz. It almost looks like a flake, but it's not. Some glass. Wonderful. Some coal. Typical. No artifacts. Now, before we get soaked. I'll show you what we got left. It's not much. But once again, this should be quality material, not, not necessarily quantity. Make sure we're not pouring any of it out. There you go. That's all we got left to sluice. We can whip through that pretty quickly here. Oof. Just got my foot soaked again. Typical. All right. Dream that. Here we go. This particular sleeve, so you want to set it up to about eight degrees pitch. It's not running super perfect today, but we kind of got to move a little quickly because there's a rain coming. But as you can see, the cells are working fine. If they're banging around and swirling those cells, they're, they're doing their job. comes rain, folks. We gotta get this done here. But we still don't wanna, I'd rather get soaking wet than I would the rest of this. Take it home. Hopefully, have a little color. This is a new spot. I wasn't even really gonna film today. I was just gonna kinda come and see if I could find a point or a fossil or something. Do some just ditch and creek walking. But here we are with the sluice out. 
There's a video getting a brood up. I can see a few heavies starting to show up. It's a little dark with all the shade. There's a few heavies in there, nothing crazy. Hopefully we'll get a little speck of gold or two. You never know, you never know till we get home and get her in the pan. Gold's twice as heavy as lead. It drops down really quick to the bottom of your sluice. But that's why you want to feed it slow because your material's only got maybe a second, two seconds worth of time to hit the bottom and get in a cotton in a crack and crevice in this here sluice before it blows out the other end. So you definitely want to run her slow. Well, folks, I'll finish this bucket up, and then we'll check back with you. And we'll clean it up, take her to the house, and paint her on out. Wild, wonderful West Virginia, by golly. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, guys, we got her, got her all run through. So let's pick this puppy up. There's not going to be a bunch of material. So it won't take much time at all to take her home and paint her out. Yeah, you can see some heavies in there. Right there. Not a bunch, but as we all know, it doesn't mean anything. That's getting it all cleaned out. All right, guys. Well, we're gonna pack all this good stuff up. As you can see, there's not much material in there. There's probably about a cup. And then once we get home and classify it down again, it'll be a little, probably around a quarter cup. So with that said, we will see you guys at the house. All right, everybody, here we are back at the house on this gloomy, gloppy day. I'm going to show you real quick why I have a problem trying to sweep my patio off. Okay, let's sweep. Gotta sweep. And there you have it. Anyhow, let's go over here and see what we got. All right, guys, here we are. We screened it down to about kitchen strainer size. I don't know, it looks like what, about a sixteenth, one sixteenth of an inch. I don't know what number that would be called, but it looked like about sixteen inch, sixteenth inch hole to me. Anyhow, we screen all that off. Get that all in. That's Frankie doing my broom around, beating it up. Get all them bigger rocks out there so we can see. But hopefully today, we're aiming to show y'all that you can look for gold in some strange places. I mean, if you're out on the creek and you see an old piece of carpet like I seen, you just follow the tips and instructions we done out there. Then we're gonna show you how to paint it out. And please, if you do, if you find some old trash and carpet and you paint it out, please pack it out with you. Let's get that stuff out of the creek. Anyways, you want to shake it and swirl it, get it semi liquid, get all that stuff to the bottom. And you want to tip your pan up and just start easing it out a little bit. We ain't in no hurry. We're doing this for fun. Remember, we're definitely not going to get rich, especially here in West Virginia. I look at it like fishing or something like that. I just go out. I'm out there for the enjoyment of it. Out there to be in nature. Spending some quality time outdoors. Not at work. Not doing the old work eight hours a day thing. Well, times like they are now. I'm doing better than eight hours a day. Just try to make, make ends meet. I'm preaching to the choir there. I know everybody out there is in the boat with me. Anyhow, let's get her a pan down. See what kind of magic carpet gold we find. 
Come on, you take a ride with me on a magic carpet gold pan ride. Oh, a lot of heavies in there. That's a good sign, cause y'all seen we did not run much material. Just what we what we washed out of that carpet, cause it was blowing in a storm. I was ready to get on out of here. I just didn't want to pan all that out here, so we just sluiced her down at the creek. Let's see what kind of gold we get out, just an old piece of carpet. It's terrible what winds up down here in these streams. And I try to pack all the trash out I can within reason, you know. I'm not hauling out washers and dryers and whatnot. Small stuff, stuff that I can pack out easily. Yeah, I'll, I'll get it down there. That shit don't, stuff don't need to be in down there in our creeks and it upsets me when I see it. Anyhow, y'all ain't here to hear me whining. Here to see some magic carpet gold. Yeah, I think we're down about enough where we can take a peek. I'll take the first peek with y'all. Like I always do. You see me banging around here on the edge of my tub. Right there. That's good hard surface. It helps bounce that gold down down on the bottom. Kind of help get it all down through there. Kind of shake it where it's a semi-liquid. Bounce it around. And we should be ready for a little bit of a rollback. It's kind of tough with one hand. But let's see. Oh, oh look, right there. I don't know if it's showing up. I can see right now I can see what one two three four five maybe six little wee little pieces one's a little bit bigger all right guys let me get this tapped up and we'll show you we'll see because that there, there's a little there's a few little pieces that, give me just a sec it's hard to do with one hand all right guys there's all the hematite sands right there you can see few of the blonde and there's all your purple hematites and you move up here to where the heaviest stuff is stuck to the pan hold on I'm having troubles focusing here with all this glare there's your gold there's a little bit all in little it's having a hard time focusing it let me see if I can get it better hold on there let me see if I can get in the sun at all It's not easy to try to shoot bitty bitty gold. There you go. Hopefully it's showing up. There's about 15, maybe 20 little specks in there. You can see the dirt and water floating around, but the gold just staying there. We didn't find gangbusters, but we never do. We're not out here to get rich, that's for sure. That's a good thing. There's one more little shot of it, halfway decent shot. Just real fine, typical flower gold you find here in West Virginia. Anyhow guys, hopefully we're able to show y'all. You can find gold in some crazy unusual places. Don't ever overlook some of the trash, like old chunks of carpet, t-shirts, old fabric you find down there in the street. Run through your pan first, see if there's any heavies in it or you know, you never know unless you check here because there is gold here in wild, wonderful West Virginia. That's wild, trust me. It keeps getting wilder every day. Anyhow, we'll see you guys on the next Adventure Time Prospecting. Be sure to like, subscribe, and subscribe. Get your prescription for it now. Adventure Time Prospecting. We'll see you all next time.